Hello everyone, welcome back to this Microsoft Excel tutorial journey with me on my Knowledge Factor YouTube channel. This is the 94th session and we are learning the pivot table in Microsoft Excel. Alright, so what do you think of it so far? Excel pivot tables, right? How, how quickly you can summarize data based uh, off of some list, right? Whether that list has got a couple of hundred of records, a thousand of records, tens of thousands of records and how quickly you can summarize that data. Just a couple of clicks and uh, drags with the mouse all through the pivot table field list. Drag them into the four section, good to go, right? Summarize your data and uh, you can get in there, modify it and really get it to display the way that you want it to, right? What is it that uh, you are trying to report on? You get it here. Now remember, this is all based off of the existing sales data, data table that we have here, right? We have just summarized it and uh, now imagine this, uh, you are sitting in a meeting, people are looking at your excellent work, right? They are able to make intelligent decisions based on your summary of data, right? We don't have to dig through the massive list and uh, try to come up with this. It's just, it's all right here inside the pivot table. But as you are sitting in that meeting and you are looking at this data and you look at the value, uh, let's say April, it's 51%, right? Increase over the prior month's value, in this case over March month, right? From April to March, well, somebody might look at that and say, how did that happen? Why did we increase so much, right? What is it that uh, we were selling? Who was selling there, right? Let's look at that data right there. Well, you could go back to the sales data worksheet and you can go look for it. We got to go back and look for April data and I got a filter for this. I got to sort it. I have got to maintain this list again and again and try to get the data that I am looking for that represents that increase of 51%, right? Well, in a pivot table, uh, there's a feature called drill down. We are able to drill back into the value of this pivot table. Watch this. So if I go to that 51% or 640,000 dollars, right? Anything in that April row value section, if you double click on a value, if you double click on a value, I'm going to double click and this will create a new worksheet. Mine's called sheet two. Yours might be called something else, sheet three, four, whatever, but it creates a new sheet and it gives you the data that makes up that value. So in this case, I have got all the April data. Double click, got it. Imagine this, you have got, and uh, this is a question that I get asked quite a bit. I have got a list, the master list, got all this data in it, and it's got data about various individuals, maybe team members that I work with or, or sales individuals, and I'm responsible for this list. But now I want to send out a copy of the list to each salesperson or each co-workers that's represented in that list. I don't want to give that entire list to them. I just want to give them their data, right? What do you do? So you directly go ahead and create a pivot table. You group it by that salesperson or individual. And now you can double click on the values for that person and it would create a worksheet for each of them. And then you can send them their respective data. Just a double click creates the sheet you got the data right there at your fingertips. A uh, little tip here, uh, each time you double click, you get a new worksheet. So right away, make sure you name that, whatever, make sure it's something that you keep track of. You don't just want a bunch of sheets like uh, sheet one, two, three, four, five, six, right? You want to name them and organize them, right? So I'll just give it a name as April. You keep it whatever name you want to. So very cool. Just you give it a double click, create the new sheet. You have drilled down into that data. Give this a go. A really simple one, but a very effective tool and huge usage for this one. So try it out.